Hello everyone and welcome to Harmony Coffee House in Wolfboro, New Hampshire. I'm Gingerbread Amy. My name sounds a little bit famous, but I'm not and I like it like that. Today we are going to put together a gingerbread house from scratch. It'll be decorated for spring with lots of flowers. And if you grab a coffee, let's get started. Oh, I always like this. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. It's my favorite microphone. I've conducted many hard-hitting interviews with this. In fact, let's do one right now. Why not? Cheryl, my merch girl, is here. Cheryl, would you come join me here behind the table? Shall I get the merchandise? Sure, why not? This is a great time. We have a beautiful <laughs> little beanie with the Gingerbread Amy logo on it. Bad. Very fashion forward. So and cute. Then, who could not want this colorful, <laughs> beautiful, Right? Yes, brand new merchandise on our Etsy shop. It's called Gingerbread Amy. Makes sense, right? Gingerbread Amy Etsy shop. Thank you, Cheryl. Oh, you're welcome. Briefly, let me tell you the story of Cheryl the Merch Girl. Cheryl visited me in my workshop, which is a magical, magical place. And within minutes, she sort of announced that she was my merch girl. <laughs> and I didn't even know I needed a merch girl. But that's sort of how things happen, so that's why I got merchandise, because I suddenly had a merch girl. And there'll, there'll be more on Cheryl in a minute. But let's get started with our house, shall we? Yes, let's do that. All right, so these are the gingerbread pieces that I have baked from scratch in my workshop, and this is what they look like when you pick them up at um, a conference or a party, or if you order them in the mail, they'll arrive looking like this. Okay, so we have the front, front and back panel. We have two side panels and two roof panels. Now, you can use any gingerbread recipe you like. That's the important thing, is that you like it. Uh, I like my recipe because it's baked for strength, not flavor, so it holds up uh, for years. I have houses, gingerbread houses, that have lasted for years, and visitors in my workshop have houses um, that last on and on and on. Uh, the key there, when you bake your gingerbread, you want to make sure you bake it very thoroughly. Do not underbake. Right, Cheryl? Absolutely. <laughs> and it can get a little burnt. Yes. If it's not on fire, you can use it. So bake it really, really crisp. Now, I've scored lines into these pieces. Uh, it's just a fun technique I like to do. Um, for an eight minute, I have an eight minute tutorial on YouTube. If you search easy gingerbread house from scratch with gingerbread Amy, it's a little clunky. But that's, you'll find eight minutes on YouTube. You can learn all my favorite tricks. So, the first thing I do when I have my pieces as I try to get quiet inside and listen to the gingerbread. That's a little tip for a lot of things, actually. <laughs> so uh, today I have, well, I have a whole lot of angels, which is wonderful. And as you can see, I have all these um, flowers that I've made. These are called royal icing transfers. And I made them by just squirting a dollop of royal icing and then placing jelly beans all around in a flower shape and letting that dry for a day to a week. And these I actually made two weeks ago. So uh, we'll be covering our roof with all these flowers. So let's get started. That'll be the fun part. Uh, I think, so I'll just start. I'm going to start goofing around and placing them sort of whimsically and see what, what I like. Definitely going to layer some. That's is this a spring. It is. Right this out? is spring because today, Cheryl. It's sunny. There are 250 days left until December 25th, which is you know whose birthday? Yes. My mom's. <laughs> All right. 
Let's see. So this is just fun playing around. And I think I'm just going to start, yeah, I think I'm going to use royal icing to adhere these. So uh, royal icing is easy to make. I have the recipe that I use for royal icing and the gingerbread on my Instagram page. You can find it there. But you can look up any recipe you like. The name of the game with royal icing is consistency. I use really thick royal icing because I like to keep it simple. But you need to use different consistencies to achieve different looks. If you want a real smooth, glassy look, your royal icing needs to be a looser consistency. So, uh, but I have green, green for spring. Uh, royal icing, I keep, I keep it in these for a week or two, or I just found out I can keep these up to six months. I did a demonstration recently in Ohio at Punderson Manor, and uh, just spur of the moment, uh, went to my car and I had icing that I had kept there for six months. So it had been frozen and thawed, frozen and thawed, frozen and thawed, and was still wonderful. Now, royal icing is the preferred adhesive when making gingerbread cottages. Now remember that I said that up front. Royal icing is the preferred and classic traditional adhesive. Okay, so I am just going to start adhering these so on why here. Are you using the royal icing versus the gun? Okay, good question. Cheryl has the question because Cheryl knows me a little bit too well. You know what I mean? You guys know what I mean when someone knows you a little too well? It's like, yikes, what are they going to say? Uh, <laughs> um, I will actually explain that in just a bit, why I'm using royal icing as an adhesive right now. I think actually because uh, it is the preferred and classic adhesive, and we'll get to other types of adhesives in a little bit. All right. Dun, dun. I'm going to put one right, right there. I love. Um, Harmony Coffee House, this place. I remember the first time I heard about this place, it was from our neighbor Mary, who said, there's gonna be a coffee shop in the old junkie camera store place and they're gonna have a fireplace. And you know how usually when you have a neighbor Mary, she's like all full of gossip and lies and innuendo? Not our neighbor Mary. Our neighbor Mary <laughs> is full of truth with a capital T, like a little too much truth for a lot of people. But we love our neighbor Mary. All right, so this is coming along nicely. So I'm just jamming the flowers on. And um, I don't know if I'm going to cover like the whole roof. I think I might just do it on the, the bottom edge, just sort of the eaves of the roof. It does look so yummy. It's like lime mousse. Oh, speaking of Cheryl, thank you for saying that. This looks so yummy. Yes. What's the thing I always tell people? That you can always eat the gingerbread no, houses. No, Everyone you were not listening. <laughs> gingerbread houses are never for eating. Now, I get in a lot of trouble for saying this, but this is the truth because gingerbread houses are like air fresheners and they sit out and they make your room smell amazing and they absorb surrounding odors and you would never eat an air freshener, would you? Maybe if you got drunk at a party, maybe that one time. You might live to regret it. So gingerbread houses are never for eating. Never, never, ever. Oh, I kind of like that one up there in the corner. The way it just landed there? Mm -hmm. I think that's where it'll go. Alrighty. I like that. All right, so I think royal icing transfers are go going to be my thing for 2022. 
for Christmas, I'll make a bunch of poinsettias out of royal icing and let those dry really well. And then I'll just pile them on the houses. And it creates a really nice look where you can really layer a lot of neat things. Mm, well, OK, I think we'll stop for now on those roof pieces and let those firm up. I think they look pretty sweet. These over here. Now, I hope I don't end up wishing that I'd used hot glue on those. I might, I might demonstrate my whole, my whole reason for using hot glue. But okay. Um, here we have two pieces of of land acreage. I like to call them. There, other people call them cake grounds. You can pick them up at your local craft store. Uh, this one is all prepared for electricity. So if you build your cottage around it and you have cut windows in your cottage and just pop a light bulb in there, uh, you'll have the light shining through your cottage. But today we're not going to do that. So we'll just use, use this one. And uh, because I scored these pieces, I'm just going to demonstrate this technique I like. I always have um, some snow on hand, powdered sugar. And when you cut different designs into your gingerbread, you can fill it in with the powdered sugar. And it really makes it pop. Yeah. And this is a spring cottage, and we are actually expecting snow tomorrow. <laughs> so a little dusting is perfectly appropriate. All right, so I'm just going to do the, the side panels like that. So now I need to think about the front and back panel. What kind of door do I want? Do I want windows? What kind of overhang do I want? And most importantly, what does the gingerbread want? Listen to the gingerbread. Oh, I have a friend, her name's Gina Brion, and she thought that uh, gingerbread Amy sounded sort of like mafia-like. She's like, yeah, gingerbread Amy, da da da. Um, and they used to call her when she worked at Starbucks before she was a famous comedian. They used to call her Gina Cappuccino. So Gina Cappuccino and gingerbread Amy have a good time together. All right, doors. We need to think about doors. Does anyone want to help me pick a door? Anyone at all? Sky. Sky wants to help me pick a door. Everybody, welcome Sky Yay. from Harmony Coffee House. Come on, Sky. Come on. Don't trip on the cord here. What am I doing? Hello, Sky. Hi. So good to have you here. All right, so you just listen to the gingerbread. Now we're looking, okay. and what you do is you just place things and, and this is a good time to point out one of the most important tricks to having fun decorating gingerbread is to decorate your pieces flat. Not only can you try different designs, but you let the gravity help you and all of your pieces stay in place. All right? So just take things and start fooling around. Like these three things would make, you know, these are three good doors that might make an overhang. You know, and I just have a tiny selection here today, but just play around and maybe, and here's some neat doorknobs. Whatever you think works, you know, whatever you like, whatever speaks to you. On this, just this piece. Or both. or both, whatever. Just start playing. Sky is headed to uh, Liberty, is it University? Mm -hmm. Liberty University in the fall. Yay, and so is her cousin, Liss. They're going to be roommates, right? Yes, we are. <laughs> That's going to be fun to hear about. I can hardly wait. Cute. Oh, look at that. Mm, I like that. That's pretty sweet. Yes. I really like that a lot. Okay, now this though is going to, um, the roof is going to, so I might, no, you had it like that. That was mm -hmm. cute. Maybe I'll just um, cut the, maybe I'll just cut it. That's adorable. Thank you. Thank really you. Nice yeah. Let's hear it for Sky. Yay. <laughs> All right. So 
now I'm going to attach those pieces and I'm going to attach them, yes, that's right, using my hot glue gun. Cordless, yes. My dad gave me this. Now I get a lot of pushback from the gingerbread community about my open use of using hot glue while putting together gingerbread houses. But like we already covered, gingerbread houses are never for eating their decorations. And you want to think about the gingerbread families that you're building for. You want to build a strong house. It's not going to fall down on them. So hot glue is the way to go. Also, when you're demonstrating in a one hour time frame, you must use hot glue. So here we go. So I just dipped a couple of the edges in my snow to give it a little snowy look. Snowy spring. All right, so one of the things when you use hot glue is you will end up with these glue strands that seem to go on forever and ever. Don't worry about it. Just let it dry thoroughly and then go back and start picking them off using hopefully little tweezers that you have on hand. So you make it a really clean look. But here we go, look how, look how sweet that is. Right? Nice. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> All right, so that may be the front or the back door, I do not know. All right. Um, Anyone else want to come up and listen to the gingerbread? Uh-uh. Anyone have a hankering? Uh, anyone at all? Come on. Yay! The room. Oh, two. We get two. I'm so excited. All right, come on back. Be careful of the cord here. All right, Liz, will you introduce me to your friend here? This is Avery. Hi, Avery, Hi. Liz, and Avery. All right, so just start playing around and see what you like on this um, panel. You know, doors, angels, candy, flowers. You can use anything you see. And uh, yeah, we'll just have a good time until you've settled on a design. But you can mix it up and change it as many times as you want. Oh, look how adorable that is. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you, Listen, course. Avery. Nice Listen, Avery. Woohoo! So wonderful. Okay, very sweet. Now, I think I'm going to use royal icing to adhere these pieces because it'll be a nice little decorative effect. So I'm going to do just a little bric a brac here. Isn't it just precious? Yes. So, and I love the placement of the doorknob. Just sort of like middle, low, kind of a weird, awkward placement, but beautiful. You know, I love that. I love it, love it. And even, yeah. It's just unexpected. Isn't that so cute? So cute. All right, so now we have our front and our back. It's really, really sweet. Uh, all right, for my uh, design, the side panels don't really come into play much. They're really a supporting role. But sometimes I decorate them a little bit. And I think because we have all these flowers, I'm going to go ahead and add some flowers to the sides. Yeah, we thought about these little window box type. Yeah, we'll do that. going to squeeze some icing in there. It's like 
little grass. Yeah, the color looks great. Yeah, so that's oh, a little, so cute. little side panel with a little window box. And now this other side panel. So I think I'll just throw some of these flowers on it. All right, that is really looking pretty sweet. Now, uh, our roof panels are looking pretty good. I think these flowers might hold in place if we attach them soon, but I may give them just a little more time to firm up. Ah, but yeah, I think we're ready. We're ready to get these side panels attached. Now, you can place your cottage anywhere on your acreage that you like. I usually go fairly centered, but sometimes not, depending if I have moose in the yard, which often happens here in New Hampshire. All right. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. I love using hot glue, and so do other really famous people. They love using the hot glue, but they just don't tell you about it. All right, so it doesn't take long for that to set up. And um, actually kind of made that a little wonky, but it's all right. We like wonky. I do. I, and wonky is good. All right. So, Oh, speaking of, okay, listen. This has happened to me a lot. If you make... Well, I hope this isn't going to fall apart on us. All right, if you spend your time, your afternoon, your evening making a cottage from gingerbread, and after all is said and done, you don't like it at all, you think it looks horrible, super easy fix. You just take a sifter full of powdered sugar, and you make it snow all over your house and then your house looks beautiful <laughs> i've done this many many times bum, bum, bum. alrighty now <laughs> we're gonna fill our cottage with some magic it's a little known secret there there's a gingerbread house uh, housing shortage happening and I'm no developer, but I am Gingerbread Amy, and I can show you how to make your own gingerbread cottage and have fun doing it, and then you can live anywhere you want in the whole wide world. I will show you where the molasses is. All right. We're going to put a bunch of angels. Yes. Can I get an amen? Amen. <laughs> get a bunch of angels in here. We'll just drop them. I don't know. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll stand them up so they'll be, they won't be falling down. They'll be upright, singing angels. And we will always know that this house has angels inside. Real gingerbread angels. All right. Hmm. I don't know. Should we put a pineapple in there? Do angels eat pineapple? I think they do. We'll put a pineapple in. I've been holding on to that pineapple for a long, long time. Sometimes I put a dog in there, but I don't have I don't I don't appear to have a dog today. All right. So, once your uh your sides are attached to the front and the back, you want to take some icing and seal up the side seams. Now, it's important to do this before you attach the roof because it's just easier to reach. All right, now I'm going to save the bottom edges for after we attach the roof. Okay, so we're going to attach the roof panels. The most important thing here is that you make sure the top edge of your roof is uh, up at the top of the gable so that you're, they'll meet up at the top. There's not a big gap there. Oh, it's 
for spring. Okay, so it's not really taking long at all for that to set up. And we'll get the, um, get the other panel on. Uh, so I like to remind people, I do not make the fanciest cottages ever, but I have a lot of fun. And I like to show people the fun, simple way to make just a unique, approachable, doable cottage that people will look at and say, you know what, I could do that at home. Okay, so now I'm going to fill in the eaves with some icing. Okay, so one of my favorite things is just to do a little back and forth grassy path on our front door or our back door. I don't know. I didn't really design the house. But I think they both work nicely and I think it's so pretty. So I'm gonna do another grassy path here on this side. All right, now, oh, we've got to do something up here on the ridge line. And I think, I don't know, it's kind of tough. I think I'm just going to do a back and forth bric a brac treatment with the green that we've been using. Nice. Now, you know, I'm a little tempted to start yeah. popping some of these in, but I don't think so. I don't know. It's a tough call. But I'll tell you what. It's an old saying, but less is more. It's very easy to overdo it, especially when you're decorating with a lot of yummy candy and you just keep putting stuff on. But um, I don't know. I don't know. OK, step right in here, Harper. Everyone, welcome. Harper! Harper! We're just going to pick some colors though, right? So you pick whatever colors you like, and then, and then we'll put them together on the ridge line here. Ooh, nice colors. Do you want to pop them in? Just any place you want, and as many as you like. So good. Look at that. So okay. nice. Thank you very much. Now, Harper, are there any flowers here that are calling your name that you really feel like should be included in our design? And if they're not, it just won't be right. You like that one? Okay, we'll find a place for that one. Maybe here in the front yard. Is there another one you love? Mmm, sweet. We'll get that one in there too. Any place. We've got quite a bit of um, area for gardens. All right, nice. That one too. Great, good. Is that it? Those are the ones you like? Well, thank you for helping. Let's hear it for Harper, yay. All right. I kind of really just like the way they landed like that. Isn't that cute? And I might just, I might just, you know, I think I'm just gonna fill the whole yard. Why not? Just with all these, it'll be just super spring. All right. and. Um, I'm going to use the green icing because I just want to use it up. And also, I want it to sort of appear that they're in a little grassy area. Now we'll, just, we'll just start slamming these into the garden. It's going to be like spring came on something fierce. You know what? I 
I like it. Yeah, just when I just when I finish saying less is more, let's just jam the flowers on. Yeah, I don't think we're going to regret it. I think we're just going to love it. So, really, <laughs> do you love it? So nice. So nice. Do you? Good job. Thank you. Never seen anything like it, but I'm really pretty the fond of it. It's so interesting. I just love the, the communal effort in putting it together. Okay, so it's just a matter of really letting it dry and then picking off any glue strands that might be visible. But uh, this should last all through spring, summer, fall, winter, and then you can really, if you wanted to just come wintertime, make this all Christmassy, not too hard to do. So thank you for watching. I hope you had fun. Listen, something I want to say. I want to thank the people in Wolfboro who have been so kind and loving to my family. There's little I wanted to, to do more than cancel this event. Uh, but I'm so glad I didn't. I think when we honor our commitments, regardless of how we feel, um, there's great reward and joy Enjoy. that comes from that. So I hope that during our time together, there was something, anything, even the tiniest, tiniest little thing that you will take with you, take home, and use it to build something really fun with your loved ones forever and ever and ever and ever. Thank you.